Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about when to use the less than or the less than equal sign for the binary search. Um, some people might be a little bit fuzzy about this, so we'll give it a visual walkthrough as to which one should be used. Now, usually we're given a set and array of values, right? And the values, first thing to consider is that they have to be sorted. Um, and that's what allows the binary search to work. Now, if you want a quick summary, um, to be sh straight to the point, we would want to use the less than or equal sign in our while loop for the binary search when we are looking for a specific value to check whether or not this value exists in the array or set or not. Now, I'm going to show you on the left hand side, we will have our less than and on the right hand side, we'll have the less than or equal sign. So follow along. Um, on the left hand side is an implementation of the binary search. And so is on the right hand side, the only difference between the left and the right is the left has the less than and the right has the less than equal sign. So let's walk through the code, right? So for example, we're looking for a target value of three and we're given an array of only one um, value, right? Now, if we were to use the less than sign, let's see what happens. We instantiate our left variable at zero and our right variable at the length minus one, which is the far right. And in this case, it's going to be both zero since the length is only one. Now, if the left and the right are both zero, this while loop actually never even executes because the only way for this to execute is for left to be less than right. So at the end, when we use this, actually it'll return undefined or, or negative one if you want, um, even though clearly it exists, right? Now on the right hand side, if we do the same thing, left is zero, right is zero, while left is less than or equal to right, this while loop will still execute and it will return the midpoint, which is the index at where we find the target value. So that's just a very simple look at it with an array where the length is one. You can see the difference already that less than or equal would be the correct way to find the value to check if that value is in this array or not. Now let's do another example. Let's say on the left hand side we have two values now. <clears throat> now we instantiate our left pointer and our right pointer. Left is zero, right is the array.length minus one, which is the far right value or index, right? So is zero less than one? Is our left pointer less than our right pointer? It is. So we'll calculate the mid value here, which is just the left index, zero plus one, zero plus one is one divided by two. We do a math.floor to round down. So that would be um, our midpoint in this case is going to be zero right now, right? So one divided by two is going to be 0 0.5. We've written down, it's going to be zero. Okay, so now at index zero, the value is one is one less than our target value three, right? This is the question that we're asking. Um, yes, it is. So we'll increment one. Um, we'll increment that pointer to um, index one, right? We've incremented our pointer that was initially zero to one. Now at this point, when we go through the loop again, our left and right values are equal. So this next loop does not execute and we aren't able to return our value even though it's in there. Now, if we looked on the right hand side with the less than equal sign, we'll do a similar approach, but at the point where left and right are equal, we go into the loop again, looking for whether or not our value is equal to the target, in which case we can return the index. So that extra iteration into the loop due to the less than or equal sign allows us to return the value that we're searching for. Um, and that's it. So things to remember, if we are looking for a specific value in the array, we would most likely want to, we would want to use the less than or equal sign in the sorted array. And I hope that clears some confusion out. Um, I would love to hear any debates. There are a lot of different variations 
of how to do the binary search for different purposes. Um, and I'll make another video on that later. But this is to keep it simple. When you're looking for a value in the array, use the less than or equal sign. Let's go back up.